Hi Tauruses, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing your general spread. It's been about a week and a half to two weeks. I actually can't wait to do your reading. So this is going to be good for all placements for the sign of Taurus. It is general. I always ask for the strongest energies. You know, not all the energies will resonate with everyone. I'm going to get started right now. Hmm. What do I feel? Got that big lunar eclipse. All right, spirit guides. Current energies for the sign of Taurus. This reading is for. What would you like to show me? Strongest energies are on sign of Taurus. The moon. Hmm. Thank you, spirit guides. <laughs> Strongest energies around the sign of Taurus. This reading is for, please. Thank you. What else would you like to show me? All right. For the strongest energies around the sign of Taurus. You guys, they gave you a novel today. That's because of that big lunar eclipse on the 8th in your sign. Three of Cups on my arm. The Lovers under the deck. And the Page of Wands with a lot of strength and courage. I'm going to stop there. I always take a few cards. My cards are always lined up how I shall take them. I'm just going to spread them out. This is how I'm supposed to get them. So, well, the Three of Cups and the Lovers. Lovers is always a part of our destiny. It's Gemini energy. And it's with something I feel around you right now that you want to come together with love. It can mean many things. It can mean a new place of employment, home, relationship. And you're very eager about something, the Page of Wands. This is very new, eager, fire energy, very inquisitive. Two of Pentacles, and it's with you showing up, the King of Pentacles. And then I have that Moon card that flew out. Boy, sorry. <laughs> this is something you've been going back and forth with. Two of Pentacles and you, the King of Pentacles. Not deciding which is going to create the most stability for your life. Some type, some type of decision you're trying to make. That's a card of balance too. But when it shows up with the moon and the lovers. Let's start looking though. I do have the four of cups to my left. I have another two. I have the two of wands. Hmm. Four of cups can be very um, withdrawn energy. Feeling as if why should I give love? I'm not receiving it or vice versa. I'm not getting it. So why should I give it? Just saying what the card's saying. But with the two of wands here around you I do feel that this is something because I have the moon it's like you're trying to make a decision but you don't have all your clarity yet because that lunar eclipse is going to go boom all about new beginnings I have the king of water and the six of swords king of cups is something you hold close to your heart it's something you love you you feel a commitment with it it could be about a lot of things but with the Six of Swords here, that's just going calmer waters. It's like you, you've you been going back and forth about something, Taurus says. I have the Five of Swords. Uh, that's a card of words that have been said to you that's taken a piece of you away. Hmm. Ten of Wands. I feel like um, if this is your reading, there's something you've been going through. I see you're trying to make a decision. You don't have your clarity, but you're very inquisitive about something. I almost feel that there's words that have been poking at you for quite a while that's become enough weight and you know you need to let something go last card is eight of wands eight of wands means something's flying in towards you i almost feel Taurus says that you feel it like you know in the incoming energies because the, the new the, the lunar eclipse in your sign and we had the partial in scorpio was about endings your lunar is about pushing everyone in new beginnings that's part of their destiny all right, let's look at your recent past just a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Six of Swords. I never know who I'm going to choose, but I do like doing the Rider weight. Recent past for my Tauruses. Why are these here in their current energies? That Eight of Wands is a good omen. Something's flying in at you. I can't wait to see your incoming energies. It's going to happen right around that lunar in your sign. <laughs> recent past, please. Thank you. Thank you for the sign of... Thank you. Okay. Oh. Sign of Tauruses, please. Recent past. What else would you like to show me? 
card in front of me is the Three of Swords. The card on my chest that landed in front of me is the Star, Five of Pentacles, and the Sun. Huh. Let me put those over there. But who's under the deck? Oh, why are they... What the heck is going on here? This must have been some flippers, but I'm not going to take them, you guys. That was weird. Okay. Page of Swords. And um, it's about justice. So justice is Libra energy. It's recently something in your past that you started seeing with a new truth, I feel. And it's about how fair has everything been. I mean, I feel that recently, if this is your reading, you started thinking about something that the scales haven't been too awful balanced there. You started looking at things with um, a lot more justice. Very, and you know, big energy, uh, unless you're dealing with Libra. But I don't, this is general, you guys. So I'm just going to go general and... Really thinking about how fair everything has been, how balanced are the scales. And it's something I feel that has been breaking your heart uh, or did break your heart recently in the past. Sagittarius with the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. It's not the Five of Swords, but Sagittarius is about uh, you've been very patient. You've been trying to balance and blend something about words that have been spoken to you. You've been doing a lot of healing. But I have that with the Five of Pentacles. You know, the Five of Pentacles is earth energy, but it's about a place of feeling completely shut out. A place of sometimes our own prophecies, our own beliefs always make us get into this energy. But you've been doing a lot of healing and you've recently you came back into the sun because the card in front of me is the Nine of Pentacles. That's back in the sun. That's a card of mastery, feeling whole. Um, I feel you came into justice, which is, you came into a lot of power about how fair has everything been. I do have the seven of pentacles in front of me, ace of cups, seven of cups is rolling into your current energies. I have a few cards left. Um, do I want to put work into a new opportunity of love? Is it going to grow? Another seven. I've been picked one of them cups before that I thought I loved. Hmm. feel that it's over it's completion the world and this is what I was talking about that Scorpio partial was about endings this is an ending card the world it was something you had to go through so new cycles can begin I have the queen of love this is something I feel you came into an energy of feeling more abundant with love the things that you do love the people that you the pe everything is just love and you were, you're determined to go after something because here's the Knight of Wands. I have the Page of Wands. You know, you just can't seem to make a decision because right now around you, everything is just a little blurry. But they want me to tell you something's flying in for you. It's going to be magnificent. <laughs> I'm going to look at the crossing energies now. And if you are not dealing with anyone... There is a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming energies. And then after that, I will look at what's coming in for you. I'm going to use these today. I'm just trying to decide who I want to use. Oh, my favorite. I got the page of cups. You know that page of water. Uh, very immature water energy. Loves love, but doesn't know how to give enough love or hoping to get some type of love. I'm kind of feeling here. Crossing. Thank you, spirits. For the sign of Taurus. What would you like? Oh. Thank you. Tell me about the crossing energies. Strongest crossing energies. My Tauruses have been dealing with. I always ask for the strongest energies. So all these energies. Some will resonate. Some will not. I have the page of pentacles under the deck. That cute little page. <laughs> page of pentacles. Uh, I feel like it's somebody who wants a peace offering, um, trying to give you a peace offering. But they're just unsure about everything because I have uh, the moon, Pisces. You know, the moon is a card of objects and mirror are larger than they appear. They're not sure about some type of peace offering. Oh, Queen of Wands, big queen, the Queen of Fire. And I have it with... The page cups and you know I'm not sure do I want to put any energy into this is it going to grow the Queen of Wands is a very determined Queen very passionate charismatic Queen love that Queen but in front of me I have another Queen and it's sideways I got the Queen of Earth um, 
You know, the Queen of Pentacles is beautiful, beautiful energy. All the Queens are very intuitive energy, but sideways is someone who is not 100% sure that they're willing to offer you a piece of them. I don't know what happened. I, I'm just saying what the cards are saying, what I feel, because I have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is somebody who is hoping to communicate with you, but I have the Wheel of Fortune sideways, and I have the Three of Pentacles sideways. Someone who, this person, whoever, in the Fool sideways, whoever you've been dealing with Taurus is, is not sure. They want to see how much love they get from you before they decide how much work they're going to put into something. Four of Wands and the Lovers. The Lovers is part of their destiny. Um, I feel that this is something they do feel. I feel that they have a beautiful connection with you. That's Gemini energy, but that's also a hard connection. And with the Four of Wands here, it's somebody who's waiting for gateways to open. Scorpio, Queen of Cups, Chariot, Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords. Seven of Cups, three sevens. Hmm. 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 Well, you guys, uh, sevens is very decisive energy. All right. Um, was it two sevens? It doesn't matter. I just feel someone who's really indecisive. Like they're trying to transform something around them right now with the Scorpio and Queen of Cups. And that queen is all about being open to love again, giving something with love, receiving love, forgiveness, no grudges. Chariot, um, a little bit, you know, of uh, to the left, to the right, trying to follow their intuition about do they want to pick this cup of love? And they sure do get caught up in their head again. Like, I feel something happened here. If this is somebody you've been dealing with, because I saw the lovers, that's an old connection. And it could be many lifetimes too, but I just kind of feel like um, a lot of indecisive energy here. It's somebody who doesn't know if something here can change. And they're willing to be very patient and balanced about something. Oh, shit. I'll take them. Something just said to keep looking. Five of Swords. I have Temperance. I have the Seven of Swords. And who's showing up? Taurus with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Devil, Capricorn. Wow. I don't even know why I'm looking so much. I just feel like I want to look. So I go with it. But the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, this is someone who's trying to balance and blend words that have been spoken between the two of you and perhaps they snuck off or they feel you snuck off. Like maybe you said something and ran or they said something and ran, but you're showing up in their energies and I have it with the devil and two aces. This is something to do with a lovers and the devil, uh, a very strong connection and I just feel whoever you've been dealing with is getting caught up in their head about something here. Those are your cards. Why am I pulling those out? Oh my goodness. This is so weird. Wow. Um, I almost feel honestly why I did that, that this is like a double sided mirror. Like you two are so much alike, but so very different. And someone right now is just trying to figure out what is it they want with their cup of love. Um, these were your cards, but I just feel Hierophant and the devil with the seven and five of swords and temperance recently in your past coming into your current. This is a very tough connection. And the only way that something can change here is if you two are willing to make something work. Two people, not one. All right. So I'm going to say, you know, time changes. This big lunar eclipse is going to be a lot of awakenings for a lot of people. Who shall I use? Psychic tarot it is. Incoming energies from our beautiful Tauruses. That's emotional withdrawal. Let's just see. I think it's all new beginnings. I feel it. Spirit guides, uh, it's going to be a bolt. A just bolt of new beginnings. Incoming cards I need to see from my beautiful Tauruses. Thank you. Spirit guides, strongest incoming energies. For the sign of Tauruses. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Incoming. For the next week to two weeks for my beautiful Tauruses. Oops. I have harmony under the deck. You guys, 
you know, harmony is a place of being at a compromise with people and things. Back in peace with something. I do have deception and envy and I have movement choices and decision and I have an ace, awareness. I feel like in the incoming energies, this is something you're going to have the truth about and back in harmony with something that has been mind effering you and making a choice of how to make something come together or go through a different door to make something come together for harmony for you. Because with this card, it's like you have all the awareness you need. I have another ace. I have love begins. I have truth and choose wisely. You know that choose wisely card is the seven of cups, but this is a card of choose something that you truly want, Taurus is, with love and have the truth and awareness you need. And love shall begin for harmony. I think it's choosing a, d a door about the things and people that have been mind effering you, moving in a new direction. Because I want to tell you, please be patient and plan a little bit because I have patience and planning. I have it with transformation. It's about your base chakra. And please hold on to your spiritual strength, meaning believe it's going to happen. Everything in life is about belief and making it happen. Happening. Yeah, happy happening you guys it's like this is about you going through a place of transitioning shedding an old you look at all that gold light patience and planning be the solid rock that you are because i had that with base chakra something is coming into light for you i have truth i have awareness and i have love begins you know it's beautiful and i feel this is about you choosing something you truly want with love and have the spiritual strength because you're just shedding a new you. Here comes the new beginnings. I'm gonna get some cards though. Yep, I sure am right here. Yep, yep. I have the Hermit, very beautiful energy. That's Virgo and here comes the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is go after the things and people you love, Tauruses, for new beginnings. Incoming cards from our beautiful Tauruses. Just choose wisely. You know where you've been, now where do you want to go? Incoming energies, why are these here? Thank you. Oh my God, did you see that card? Okay. Incoming energies for the beautiful sign of Taurus's spirit. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to show me? Thank you. Anything else for Taurus's? You guys. Pardon me stretch this was a card that landed on my chest the ace of pentacles a golden opportunity a new solid start another ace but underneath the deck i have uh the five of cups they're telling me whatever emotional disappointments you've had tauruses those two cups behind you are about to get filled i have it with the with the star that's, that's big aquarian energy and i have the devil with the six of pentacles Yep, that's Capricorn energy. But with that Six of Pentacles here, this is telling me you're about to receive something. You're about to be offered something. Why is the devil here? Two of Pentacles and I have Scorpio. And there's the Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just going to stop. I'm going to take two more cards. This is big because of your lunar eclipse. But Scorpio is showing up. That is about shedding a new you. Going back and forth. Back and forth about the things that you've been chained to in an unhealthy way. Once you decide to let something go with Scorpio, you are about to receive, and I have it with the knight who, who's going after something with love, or the knight coming in for you with love, the knight of romance. And it's something that's going to make you feel whole again, the knight of pentacles, Taurus. And I have it with the Hierophant. Like, tell me to keep going. You guys, the nine of pentacles is your is beautiful earth energy of mastery with you. Having faith and commitment. Staying strong with the spiritual strength of knowing wherever you're going, you have the keys to succeed. I have the tower. And underneath that, I have Taurus. This is you tearing down old structures. Old, old ways. The tower is something that needs to come down. You're going to be back in your power. I can feel it. I have the five of wands to my left and it's with temperance. Tell me to tell you to please be patient. 
please just go with the fire energy that's coming in in the next week to two weeks because we have that retrograde in Mars, the planet of war, till the first few weeks of December and everybody's feeling all this combative energy. Go around it. Work with it. Be patient. Balance and blend. Hmm. I have the moon. Well, the moon is a card of... Are the objects in the mirror larger than they appear? Because I have it with the Nine of Cups. And who's this last? Oh, I got two cards. Seven of Wands. And I got the Lovers. You guys, the Lovers is big energy. This, that's about the moon and the Lovers. This is something that no matter how things appear in the incoming energies, this is something that is actually going to be your wish. It's something you've been wishing for. Sometimes when we go through a big transition, a big change, we don't see it. And the Seven of Wands is about you standing on your ground on the upper ledge. I do feel with the Five and Seven of Wands and Temperance, they're telling me to tell you to please be patient, Taurus. Balance and blend this. Because underneath all of that, I have the Tower. I have Taurus showing up and Taurus showing up. And this is going to be a part of your destiny. It's going to push you in a new direction. This is why they're telling you to have spiritual strength. Believe that whatever is coming in for you, it's going to play out in your favor. All right? Right. And this is what I feel. So no matter anything that might be a little disruptive in the next few weeks, they want you to hang on to your spiritual strength and believe it's all a part of your destiny. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I feel. You know, uh, this is all about patience and planning. I have that, that oracle movement choices and decisions just balance and blend something it's all a part of your destiny two messages thank you spirit one more card thank you all right this is what they gave to you i'm going to put the cards in the order i received them the first card they gave you is the eight of raphael there is something better waiting for you <laughs> Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest, a spiritual strength. Know it's all part of your destiny, whatever direction you need to go. Then they gave you the uh, Ace of Gabriel. I saw a lot of aces. A gift of passion, opportunities, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Wow, it sounds like you're going to be back in some power here, Taurus says. I mean, I see this. Look at that. Just, the card they gave me is Angel Michael, Six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. You're, you're moving on. You're moving on. I can feel it. You're moving on. You're coming back into an energy of feeling whole again, mastering something. Wow, so whatever's coming your way, it's all pushing you towards new beginnings that is part of your destiny. It's beautiful. Hold on to your spiritual strength and your Hierophant energy in you. Thank you, Tauruses. Thank you for viewing me today. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit the like button, leave a comment if you like, and subscribe if you're not. Thank you. And thank you to all my beautiful Tauruses. Beautiful energies incoming. All right, you guys, and many blessings to everyone. Thank you.